Well, even though our play has been sort of abysmal as of late, Moose Malone is officially 70 overall, so that's kind of something to be excited about. Other than that, though, eh, things are not going too well. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another Moose Malone Be A Pro video, episode 10. Pretty exciting because last year around this time, I had only uploaded one video. So uh, we're making strides in the right direction. A lot of you guys have jumped on subscriber-wise thanks to that Revived Legacy video. And uh, thank you so much for believing in me enough to hit that button and uh, hopefully don't disappoint you. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Utica Comets in a free fall down the standings. Uh, it's a pretty tight division though, the one that we're in, so I'm not too worried yet, but we gotta start winning games. That's just the long and short of it. Here in the simulation screen, we talked the talk. Now let's see if we can walk the walk and get a W out of this game. First period under- oh my god. Okay, we're within one. Who's seen this before? I know I have. I love it. I love every second of it. Alrighty, third period underway here in Utica. A one goal game against the Hershey Bears. Let's go, boys. Versteeg battling for this puck with Tevez up at the point there. And this one's going to be sent over. Rafferty tried to go for the breakout pass. He's not going to find anyone. And that's icing. Megna for Hershey. He's to the outside. Takes the shot. Malone with the stick save. Hershey in again. A lot of offensive zone time for them. This one back to the point and offside. Gersh couldn't keep it in. Redekop breaks out, finds Gagne. He's in over the blue line, stick handling his way through the defense. He'll go back to the point. Redekop does a nice move there, finds Audette. Can't get anything going offensively. Audette hooked on the play, draws a penalty, and we're going on our first Patreon power play. Yeah, Magna is just, uh, he's outplayed here. He had to get the stick out, gets it around him, and that's an easy call. This power play, of course, brought to you by patreon.com slash platmoose. If you want to support the channel, check the link in the description. Utica looking for one here. Lynn to Bailey. He takes the shot. Nice save by the Tendi. Face off one by Utica. Joel Levy to Evans to Bailey. He almost picked the corner. Oh, boy. Bailey looking for that goal. He's to the outside now, looking hopefully to take a shot as this one bounces away. Joe Levy has it. He takes one deflected by the... No, come on. Do not call that one off. Are you kidding me? Bailey got a stick on it, and it might have been a high... Oh, absolutely. No question about that. And here's the call. Ref's going to say no goal, and it remains a one-goal game. We cannot buy a goal right now. The home crowd here in Utica incensed by that call. Rafferty in, slap shot on net. Copley with the blocker save. Gadjevich recovering, can't find anybody at the point. Power play over. And what could have been a power, oh wait a minute, he's got a break here. Utica into the zone and he'll take a quick shot. Copley couldn't catch it and oh, you gotta be kidding me, man. They go on the power play with 8-12 remaining in the third. Griffith with it for Hershey there on the power play. Finds Versteeg. Versteeg to Griffith. That one blocked in front. It's been a decent kill here for the boys as they break in again. And he'll get a run. nice play by Rafferty separating the man from the puck. But Griffith not going to give up on the play down below. This one back. And Dowd sends it to Versteeg who finds Hobbs. He takes a shot. It's deflected. And we put the pad down. So hopefully, oh, one T almost deflected. And there you go. Drew a penalty for the boys. So Dowd's going to sit for hooking. We got four on four. Joe Levy takes a really weak shot. Couldn't find the net either. And it's still loose around the goal mouth area. Copley is going to cover it. Oh, come on. That's not a penalty. Are you serious? He punched a ref in the face. Why would you? Oh, my God. Oh, Magna slips a check. Here he is in front. Nice save by Malone on the breakaway. Standing tall for the boys. 44 seconds left of four on four. High flying hockey here. He gets crushed. Pretty sure that's a hit from behind, but okay. The boys need a freaking goal. I can't believe we're going to lose by one again. It's just destroying our win-loss ratio. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting pulled here. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we? Wouldn't be a Moose Malone video without the video ending with us on the bench. That's going to be a tripping penalty. So the net is empty. Uh, we have a man advantage with 34 seconds left. In what creative ways can the boys drop this ball? Boys still struggling with it. Here's Lind. He has an open lane. Drops it back to Joel Levy. Over to Bailey. One tee from the point and Copley makes a statement with his glove. Easy catch. Everybody put your hands together. This one back to Tevez at the point. 
And what could have been a D-to-D -D pass was intercepted. Lind in front, and doesn't seem like he got all of that one sent down. So another frustrating loss here in Utica for Moose Malone as uh, this one ends at a one goal deficit. And man, that sucks so bad. All right, back in the calendar screen here. Uh, Di Pietro started in this game against the Phantoms. He got a W by one goal because why not? And then we are going in in the last game of 2019 against Rochester. Let's go. Simulation screen here. Rochester Americans in town. Let's take a look. First period, 1-1. Evans gets one past their goalie and Olofsson gets one past us. Second period, come on! <laughs> why? Why, God? Why? Name a more iconic duo than the Utica Comets trailing by one at home with Moose Malone in net. I bet you cannot. Rochester into the zone. He'll stop up, finds Hickey at the point, and that one intercepted by the boys. We're out on the breakout. Here's Bailey. Bailey sent to Evans, intercepted by Hickey. And Smith goes the other way now. Rochester breaking in, drags, sent to Asplund. He takes a quick shot. That one misses. Hickey picks up the loose puck behind the net over to Redmond. Redmond at the point, he's on his backhand, so he'll try and cut back, finds Smith in the slot, who is being pressured and hacked as he goes around, finds Hickey, takes the shot, and Moose Malone with the glove save. Here's Lind, gets smoked at the blue line. Malone recovers that one for the Rochester Americans, and they're through the neutral zone yet again. Here come the Americans, down in the corner. This one's sent back up to Porter, centered, nice save by Malone. Lynn takes a shot. Nice save there. That one off the shoulder. Here's Porter in for Rochester. He stops up, gets around a defender. Little chopped backhand. Malone with the easy catch. Halfway through the third period, still looking for a Utica goal. Odette finds Gadjevic McWilliam with the interception. Hebig has it now for Rochester. He stops. He's taking a look, scanning for options. Joe Levy with the interception. Tried to catch that guy off the bench. That'll be icing. Here's Evans, recovered that loose puck. Joe Levy, back to Evans, back to Joe Levy. Sent over to Smith, and okay, come on, boys. You cannot chop the hands. Another penalty, and we go on the penalty kill. Come on. Porter in on the Rochester power play. He gets around a quick toe save by Moose Malone, and that one's sent down the other way. Malone in for Rochester, finds Asplund, a quick glove save by Malone off the slap shot in the slot, and will just jump on it. Rochester into the zone, finds Hickey, Hickey down to Smith, and he pots that one. A soft goal makes it three to one. CJ Smith uncontested in front of the net there. He's able to just kind of push that around and find himself around us and our stupid pad. And they're going to win this one as well because some higher power doesn't want us to win hockey games. That's for sure. This has been probably like the third episode in a row where Utica just refuses to even shoot the puck, let alone get a goal. Here's a shot he misses by a mile. Lind back to Joe Levy to Bailey. Back to Lind. He takes a shot and Lukanen makes a nice glove save. Here's Asplund. He's in for Rochester. He stops up, finds Redmond at the point. He'll bring it in deep and cut back. Here's Smith at the point. He's already got one this period. You'll remember it. Smith again takes the shot. Malone with the glove save. Minute 27 left here in Utica as the boys intercept. We're waiting for the call to get out of this net so we can get the extra man out to hopefully get something on the board. Smith has it. Here he is for Rochester. Less than a minute. Asplin takes the shot. Malone catches that one up high. And we'll just jump on that one as well. Face off to Hickey. Hickey takes a shot. That one deflected into the corner. Here we go. We're getting pulled again. Ten seconds remaining. Rochester has a delayed penalty as Gagne breaks it in. Here's Bailey. Four seconds on the clock. And they're just doing this to taunt us at this point. There you go. That's going to do it. Another loss for the boys. We are just so cursed. It sucks. Anyway, if you want to see more NHL 20 content like this and hopefully some wins at some point in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button in the center of your screen and I'll see you guys in the next one.